all of these corporations of corporal discommunication, communicating with controversial conversations saying, you're only worth what you're paying because these pickpockets picked enough pockets to build space rockets. We live in a world built by ICT, people dying of depression, another HIV, trying to be this diplomat from one generation to the other. Could I take some of your time, brother? Because there's something I want you to discover. I want you to discover that people are getting murdered and poisoned by fake information, all provided by this complex communication. It brought us together, so we called it globalization. Many countries, one big nation. What will happen to the next generation? We're all victims of this cerebral circumcision from telegraph to telephone to television. A vision to the past, to the very first telecast, to atomic blast, this virtual storm is breaking my mask because I'm sitting in this boat called reality with the rest of humanity. Not in that virtual reality, if it will all form some insanity from MSN to Messenger, from one chat to Snapchat, from WhatsApp to another app. Let's relapse because we're trapped like dolphins in a fishing net, just like the kids are stuck in the internet. We don't have enough intellect to walk out in the real world and interconnect like these two worlds connected through interdimensional travel, but one is breaking the other one's mountains into gravel. What is the psychology of this vicious technology? Hurting so many without giving an apology. Apologize at these gazing eyes. I hope that one day you'll realize that this technology is our demise like the devil hidden in disguise. So open your eyes and look at the real world. It's a paradise from white snow, green grass, and blue skies. Here's some advice. Stop staring down at your device. As I reflect on the virtual world's effect, it's like we're all part of this huge sect inside a world's perfect. Perfect for governments to invade your privacy, starting at infancy, plaguing this dynasty. Causing conspiracy, jealousy, and not to mention piracy. It's a political weapon without any decency. I'm getting uploaded to the Tron universe. Entering this world, it must be a curse. Man, I wish I could go back to Earth. We went from thinking to writing to typing to texting. To texting this girl so fine. But she might be a hairy old man, so don't whine because he got a screed to hide behind. And if you don't hide, you might lose your job over a tweet, blamed by some social justice elite. Quick press the elite because you don't want these scavengers to eat your meat. I say, become a wolf instead of playing with sheep. The sheep on the internet, this knowledge bank. I wish it were a ship that sank. Racism in videos, don't get mad, it's just a prank. We went from social minds to social media. To social media that changes the social mind. Now with all of this knowledge combined, why can't we save mankind? Pierre out.